Welcome to Around the World Channel. French MP and billionaire Olivier Dassault dies in helicopter crash, BBC News. Image caption The MP was estimated to be the 361st richest man in the world French MP and billionaire Olivier Dassault has died in a helicopter crash in northwestern France. Queen Elizabeth highlights unity amid the coronavirus hours before Meghan Markle, Prince Harry interview, Fox News. Queen Elizabeth II stressed the importance of unity and family in a royal address that aired just hours before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's sit-down with Oprah Winfrey is set to air. Massive explosions rock Equatorial Guinea's largest city, 17 dead, hundreds injured, The Washington Post. The health ministry said it had confirmed 17 dead and 420 injured. A doctor in Bata, a former capital, told the state-run TVGE television network that at least 20 were dead. Cuomo lashes out at calls to resign after new allegations emerge, NBC News. Hours after New York Governor Andrew Cuomo refused to resign amid new allegations of inappropriate behavior, the top two Democratic lawmakers in Albany questioned his ability to lead the state. Senator Manchin says filibuster should be painful to use, slate. Progressive Democrats who want the Senate to get rid of the filibuster so they can get some of their top priorities through Congress have repeatedly faced opposition from Senator Joe Manchin. Illinois health officials report 1,068 new cases of COVID-19, 14 deaths, WGN-TV Chicago. Chicago, Illinois health officials reported 1,068 new confirmed and probable cases of COVID-19 Sunday, including 14 additional deaths. Switzerland narrowly votes to ban face covering in public, CNN. CNN Swiss voters have approved a ban on full facial coverings including niqab and burqa in nearly all public places in a closely contested referendum on Sunday. It's true, you may not qualify for a third stimulus check. What to know, CNET. The stimulus check rules could change in your favor, or they may leave you out this time around. Sarah to CNET now that the Senate has approved the COVID-19 relief package, the $1. Beyonce honors 13-year-old fan who died of brain cancer with moving medley, HuffPost. A queen always looks after her hive. On Saturday, Beyoncé paid tribute to a young fan who died of cancer, releasing a moving medley of songs in her memory. 2021 NBA All-Star Game, five bold predictions, including Donovan Mitchell's revenge MVP against Team LeBron, CBS Sports. It's hard to get excited about NBA All-Star festivities when the players themselves have presented such strong opposition. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.